It's tricky. Probably, it is tricky. Probably some serious combos that Olimar has on Rob. Being such a big body, high weight, not necessarily uh, the floatiest character, but definitely not one of the fastest falling. So mm -hmm. we can see the juggles go for a long time. Meanwhile, it'll be interesting to see if 8-Bit Man is able to force uh, Rich Brown off stage, just how he's going to capitalize first him in those positions, particularly with that very threatening side B now. Yes, the Z drops into the side B, man. So dangerous. Mm -hmm. Close the stock out very early, and especially on a character like Olmar, who is so open during his recovery. Yep. All the active frames on the rotor arm, I believe it's called, mm -hmm. that you can just use to capitalize on his up B, right? Um, you can place it in a very obvious location because you know Olmar is forced to go there. That said, if he has no Pikmin, he could be very free with his flight, potentially avoid it, maybe land on stage with a high recovery. That he can. Right. Ape Man looks like his tag was deleted off of the setup, but that's fine. Got to put it right back in. So many players, of course, have taken the stage. And I think with only 99 or 100 name slots, you're going to have to cycle through them. Yeah, such incredible talent just coming through here. And there are not nearly enough name slots in this game. It feels like there's way fewer than there were in the previous one. Does it? I haven't I, really noticed. I feel like it's fewer. I haven't brought my setup to any turnies yet, so I don't actually know. Oh yeah, me That's either. the best way to find I, I, out, right? I don't I don't wanna bring my I know I know someone's gonna just delete my name off my own setup. Same, and I will be so triggered if that happens that mm -hmm. I'll probably just quit the game. I'll really be just a commentator. Damn. Uh, today man I, I definitely had that fate. Had a ten AM pool and just was not feeling good in the morning, so Ooh. had to just drop out. Very disappointed. I really wanted to compete here at Genesis, but Hey man, it's not about me, it's about these guys vying for their spot in the winner side of Top 64. Both great candidates for that spot as well. 8-Bit Man and Rich Brown, two old school players. Rich Brown, one of the most dominant threats back in Brawl, especially the middle days, the MLG days. This guy, I believe, plays second at MLG PC. Absolute monster, but uh, Smash 4, he was a little bit quieter. Like you said, Viram, still managing to get himself to what, 36th on the GR1 season? Yeah. And he was definitely highly ranked in SoCal for a lot of it. I remember he he was uh, one of the upper ranked players with that Mewtwo for some point, but just his his spark for the game just kind of uh, dwindled over time. Absolutely, but still one of the smartest dudes you'll ever meet. Very talented musician, and the same could be said about 8-Bit Man. His nice raw plays are six, 700 IQ sometimes. <laughs> Especially with the gyro at the edge, as you saw. A few seconds ago, he already attempted that on Rich Brown, who had to stall it out using a whistle. Very creative answer. Now, it's interesting, actually, we see a little bit more of a focus on the reds from Rich Brown. And, of course, Rob has a bunch of fire-based attacks. He has that neutral air. He has that back air. He has that down air, all of which fire-based. And so the reds are immune to all of those moves. And does the laser also count as fire? Because I definitely just saw a red Pikmin tank it. Uh, I guess so. A lot of those sorts of moves usually count as electric, but I think the laser is fire. Yeah, I, I would guess that the Red Pikmin is the choice to tank it, but I'm not sure. Either way, you see this lineup management from Rich Brown, so delicate. Most Olimars are always looking for the blues and purples, but Rich, color coordinated for sure. And now you see that other lineup that's so dangerous. All of these Pikmin bring a really unique element to the table. Whites with the tick damage being so high. Purples able to knock you out from the side B and just knock you out of the stage of the Blast oh, Zone. Excellent sight, uh, excellent. Whistle right there to get past the potential side B that would have been the stop had he uh, had it hit his mark. Using the purple Pikmin to brute force through the gyro too. Nothing stopping it in its tracks. Yeah, purple Pikmin just so, so good with that side B. Brute forcing through so much and it's so quick and hard to punish too. The gyro, very similar to Pac-Man's Hydrant. That line in the sand that it creates between the two players, saying you cannot proceed past this point without taking certain actions, most notably jumping over it. But makes you a little bit predictable and linear. Let's get a gyro, just an absolute nuisance for Rich Brown. He's doing so much work, kind of just blocking everything that he's trying to do. And it's preventing him from setting up his offense the way he wants. That said, we saw 8 Man with a massive percent lead in the first stock, but didn't manage to take it. All right, very nice. That's one of the key things against Rob's down throw. You've got to mix up between mashing and not mashing so that the follow-ups that he has to do are different. Well, tries to whistle again, but unable to time it correctly versus the gyro and losing his stock for it. David Man in a great position now. Only 80 damage on himself. Omar can kill you early with the purple up smash, but generally a character who has to work the percents up a good bit. 
Oh, Side no, B, is no, that enough? Don't do it. Yeah, okay, okay, not okay, just okay. yet. I wasn't ready to see Are we that. Are we trying to go for, an, going for another one? All right, Rich Brown down but not out just yet. Rob, so much KO power on that up smash. And on that side B, we're going to see him drop zone with it. And that's the end of Rich Brown's first game. Ape Man looking as strong as ever. And also with the, the leg taps, man. That's a very signature Ape Man thing. That and the murder face. Oh, look how mad he looks, man. He just won, but he's so angry. That's my favorite part about commentating his sets. He's so intense. What an intense player. Playing a goofy character like Rob. Yeah, very weird <laughs> combo, right? You'd expect him to be maybe a cannon man. I'd feel so intimidated just next to him, mean mugging me throughout the set. I'm like, oh man, if I lose, or if I win, what's gonna happen? <laughs> of course, Ape Man, though, a very friendly dude, he's not gonna, you know, like yell at you for beating him or anything. Rich Brown having some difficulty selecting the color. Oh, it's gonna be Alpha. Okay. Going for the Alf instead of the Olimar. This is the uh, the makeshift Olimar Echo Fighter. Yeah, right. I feel like Alf got robbed. Could have had Rock Pikmin instead of Brook Pikmin. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Either way, here we are, Town and City for the second game. Very it's wide. Down tilts, rapid firing them. It's so good in this game because it just like restands you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You can do dash down tilt to chain into each other for a certain percent range. Rob definitely a character who is a lot scarier in this game than the last one, even with the loss of his beep boop combo. He's got some new stuff, particularly that side B, the uh, arm rotor, I think it is actually. Yes. That's the order of the words. But not just that, just general frame data and cooldown improvements to a lot of his kit. Oh no! See, that's what I'm saying, man. You can just throw it out right in front of the edge. You're gonna scoop Olimar. Send him rocketing to the blast zone. Even as smart as that recovery was from Rich Brown, he made sure to try and go below and around Rob. It still wasn't enough to get past 8 bit man's wall of side B, the arm rota. That has to be the most improved move from Smash 4 to Ultimate. Yeah. Almost certainly. Definitely up there. It's it went from incredibly bad to very, very scary. Yeah, from literally a candidate for the worst move in the game to really, really good off stage. But either way. 8-Bit Man not only relying on that to get the job done, of course, this guy knows Rob in and out. He's been playing him since that move was trash. Yeah. Honestly, that's one of the themes of this game. Quite a few really bad moves got improved substantially. Another example, of course, Din Fire from Zelda. Yes. And Phantom Knight, honestly, man. That, yep. that was pretty bad in Smash 4. Down B was better in every other game for her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but either way, here we are. Potentially a two-stock lead incoming from 8-Bit Man, but now he's on the ropes. What does Rich Brown have for this ledge trap? Just the outer hit of down air, not enough. Rob with about half his fuel left, steadily restoring. Yep, every frame he spends on stage is helpful to him, even if Rich Brown managed to keep pushing him off that left edge. This time, gonna push him all the way. Two minutes in, Rich Brown finally finds his first stock in this game versus 8-Bit uh, Man. Just keep pelting with the Pikmin, but Without the red, was that that must have been a reflection? Because that that would have locked him in otherwise. That must have been a reflected purple, maybe. Yeah. I, we're gonna have to check the tapes. Yeah, that was that was nuts. Got eight men throwing gyros, throwing lasers, throwing bears, throwing nares. Oh, and almost about to throw Olimar off the right side of town and city. But Rich Brown lives to see at least another few seconds in this match. Gyro and laser combination so daunting, especially for other zoners, just because that laser transcends through everything. It doesn't stop when it makes contact with any hurt boxes. Yeah, now 8-Bit Man is just in complete control. Rich Brown really needs to dig very, very deep if he wants to make this comeback. Going to the other side of the stage. Got the gyro perfectly placed. Oh, but it's going to spin a little bit right off the edge there. Rich Brown still hanging on. Pikmin just perishing left and right. And to come back from a deficit like this is all of our man, I don't know. It's very, very difficult. And with the way that 8-Bit Man is playing, I would say borderline impossible. 
catches him with the side B, the armor to once again taking that final stock from Rich Brown, and that'll be 2-0.